What is going on guys, Trevig is here and today we're doing a bit of a different video compared to what we usually do. Today we're looking at crates. I went ahead and just bought 10 minus containers because we will work with those, but there's a ton of different crates in this game. And one of the things that I have really always been wondering is, is there any profit in crates? Can you make money off them? Can you like save money if you want specific parts or anything like that? I think that's what we're gonna try to work with today. So, first of all, we have quite a lot of different crates, crates. A lot of them I don't really think you can get anymore. Some of them are quite useless, to be honest. And, like, why are there crates in the game when it all comes down to it? Because at the moment I feel like they are super unbalanced. I haven't really seen anyone make good money on it or... Like, have the money to just go nuts on crates and show you guys different uh, different things you can get. Um, back in the days when the game started, you could roll a relic uh, from a container. I'm pretty sure you could. And now you just have this, uh, like, the uh, centipede customization that you can roll out of the Tinkerer's pack, which is a thousand each. And I think I remember someone who, like, data mined a bit and found out that... Um, the relic drops has about a 1% chance to drop which means that you would have to open 100 crates in theory to get one um, centipede customization for the is it called firebug I think it is and a hundred times just a thousand is a hundred thousand so like let's see what the centipede is for sale at the moment um, so there are no real buy offers for it or sell offers. Some are willing to pay five and a half thousand, and I'm not really sure what <clears throat> sales has been made um, in the past. We could actually go to crossoutdb.com, check out uh, what prices the part has been sold for. So let's look up Centipede. I'm sorry, you can't see what's going on here, but I'm just looking it up on the website. And in here we can see if there has been any like sell orders in the past. And there is actually, someone is selling it for 35,000. And I believe that one sold because it was taken away um, on November 21st. And then if we go back, there's a sale order for 800,000. That pretty much weighs up. If you like, in theory, open 100 crates, and you get one centipede and you sell it so you made absolutely zero money but you spend your time opening 100 crates hoping to get this one but on the other hand though you um you would of course have gotten some money for some of the other customization parts so you would make a little profit taken that you get one but what if you don't get one then you have lost a ton of money because the rest of the skins in here are not all that expensive they still cost money don't get me wrong they do but they will never be like enough to make up for the fact that each tinkerer pack is a thousand coins. So what can we use tr uh, crates for? In my opinion, the most important crates are the pathfinders and the miners container because if you see the uh, what share the pathfinders, the parameters is that they can give you literally um, nearly all of epic items. I think it's actually all of them. Uh, just not the new uh, Dawn's Children and the Fire Starters and the Steppenwolf parts. But besides that, you can get pretty much anything in it. And the crate is 340 at the moment. If we just try to sort all of my epic items, you could get a Spectre, which is 360. So you would save a bit of money there. You can get an Equalizer, uh, a Whirlwind, that will cut you down uh, and make you lose money. Then we have the Pyre. I don't think you can get... Can you get the Pyre? Yeah, you, you should be able to. Let's just see here. Parameters. Yeah, you can get the pyre. So I think actually with the pyre, which is 374, you would save some money as well. Um, so generally, there are a few parts where you can actually make some money. Uh, the Colossus engine, I don't remember, is a scavenger's part, right? Yeah, it is. And that one actually sells for 412 at the moment. So if you cut 10%, then that will be a total of 41 off, so that's around 370. Now, 370 sell price for a crate that costs 340. You would actually be able to make a tiny profit if you open those items, but you still have to consider that. If you get something like the uh, machine guns, if you get something like the whirlwind, you won't make any money, and you will even lose money if you get the whirlwind. So, 
uh, that is one thing you have to watch out for. You could throw in a buy order and hopefully get one. Um, and say like you want to buy 10 for a price of uh, just 300. You could be lucky that the buy orders would drop quite low at some point. Um, like if the market starts to unbalance just a tiny bit. But the thing we're looking at here today is the minus container. Because there are some good things about the minus container. The fact that... Everything is untradeable, so you shouldn't buy it if you want to like try to flip it for coins, because obviously you can't unless you get the bundle of 200 coins. But if I know um, Gaijin and Tajim and whoever created this game, uh, correct, the 200 coins drop probably has a probability of a half to 1%. And I'm not sure about this. This is just purely based on experience, but let's just see what happens when we open up 10 crates. Um, Let's just sort that one. Good stuff. And if we, what sort of drops we we will encounter the most? As you can see, here we have. Okay, we can't do that. Good. Um, but we got epic untradeable items, except for wheels with low probability. So, we're gonna get coins and epic parts at a low probability, which I think would be somewhere around low probability would probably be around one percent because the low probability is also what counts for the relic skin and stuff like that then we have common parts with average probability so i don't know that must be something like 20 percent maybe and then we got rare untradeable parts with high probability um and judging by the price of the container here it is a bit like it's a bit high right now because i bought 10 packs it was at 33 34 before and not many for sale so that's why the prices fluctuate quite a bit but these 10 crates should if they all give us rare untradeable parts, we should be able to go in here to storage. If we don't have many rare trade or rare parts, we probably will make money. But a lot of the stuff that we can get is actually quite high in the price at the moment. As you can see, the wasp is at 40, the hardcore engine is 42. Don hall is not so high, but a lot of the um, rare parts are actually pretty high in price at the moment, which means that we can, if we get rare parts we can actually sell the parts that we have at the moment and then swap out like that and that's a good way if you like need money um you could risk it but let's just see what we get here in 10 pet in 10 crates so there we go we just got a new cooler and that one actually sells for quite okay we can use it at least so let's see here storage what do we have already i think it's called chill yep we got three chills already and it sells for 36 so actually we can go in here and sell this one now and since we only paid 33 I think we paid something like 34.50 in average for each crate. So that's one way if you want to like free some money from your inventory, you can do this method if you like to save minus containers for, um, for from the weekly challenges. But would I advise you guys to just buy these and open them? No way, because we're getting pretty lucky here at the moment. Let's just grab that wasp and keep on going. But in 10 crates, I'd say we we will not get we will not get any uh, epics. I'm almost certain. And then we got a repair, which is like medical because we we can't really use it um, for anything, and I don't think it sells for much. And then you can get the engineer standard, which is also quite a lot, just money out of the window because. I'm at maximum level with the engineer faction at the moment, so I can't really use the extra reputation for anything. As prestige levels gives you absolutely nothing with the engineers. But let's go ahead and retry. So now we can spend four coins to give it another go, because four coins is rare, like somewhat where the uh, scrap price is at the moment. And then we get an improved radar instead, which let's see if that's a good invest in invest investment <laughs> so we paid 34 for the crate and we paid four to try again so let's just see what the radar sells for at the moment it sells for 39 so at least we we like we caught all of our um spendings so now we can go in here and sell this one as well because we got an untradeable variant of it and one thing that i actually don't remember guys is do these untradeable parts take up inventory so is this also a method of like reducing your inventory space let's just see we're at 246 at the moment so let's try to open another one here and do mind that we uh, just like threw one item out of our inventory because the crate was taking up one 
Um, so if we claim this one now, which we won't because we just got a radar. <laughs> um, so let's just retry and see. So if our item, items are still at 246, uh, the untradeable parts do take up inventory space. Oh, goodness lord. Then we got another engineer standard. And this is actually a good example of where should you retry once again. In most opinion, uh, or in most times, you shouldn't. Because if we do this, we will be spending a total of 12 coins just to try again. So that will all of a sudden be a lot of money you got invested into what will possibly just be a blue. But let's see here what we get. And now I'm pretty sure that now we've gotten epics two times, which is just the engineer standard. And I think it's pretty safe to say that you will not like you will not get um, rares as often as you get the engineer standard. The engineer standard has a much higher drop chance than all the other rare epics. And then we got a card jack. So now we just lost a lot of money. We, we lost so much money. Um, but you know what? Let's just see. We try once more. Because in my opinion, these crates, like the state that they are in at the moment, they're just rigged and they're just stupid. Because as you can see, like there's epics, 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 so much good stuff. And then around the corner comes the white part and you land on that one. And that will just be the uh, the result for the most part. There we go, almost a bundle, but instead we land on a falcon. Let's just claim that one because we're running out of time here. So no, you should not go ahead and spend your money on crates at the moment. Um, I know they're probably not rigged, but the drop chances of all the items are just so unbalanced at the moment. We're getting a decent amount of blues, which is okay. Like if you just need to fill out your inventory with blues, if you don't have anything, um, you could go ahead and buy these because they are cheaper than all of the individual parts. But yeah, we're not we're not making any money of this. We are filling out our inventory with new parts, which is a good thing. But besides that, I don't really advise them advise them this because like look, we're just getting duplicates and and stuff like that. And even though there's so many things you can choose from, but I still I feel like often you get the same item two or three times in a row which just makes it way even more un like unusable you can use it for fusion but you would i wouldn't recommend doing so until you have a really huge inventory so let's just try to reclaim that one as well and see if we can just land on one epic item and with the retries we're quite a lot closer to actually have opened something like 15 crates than just 10 but still we aren't getting any epics and a total of these were 340 so if we don't get a single epic there's just like no chance that we're gonna actually um, get anywhere near to getting our money back I'm pretty sure or even making a profit we just want to see one epic just for the fun of it but I don't think we're gonna get it so let's just claim the vector here as well and that's it for the tin crates and now we are actually on a surplus of parts which means that yes the not for sale parts do take up inventory space so that's Let's just sell some of all of this stuff. We got so much that we don't need now. We have... Oh, well, we traded one growl, that's true. So we can sell this one at least. Let's go ahead and sell that one. So now at least what we've done here is that we've freed up some some money from our inventory because we swapped them with not for sale variants. But still we paid 35 for them. Or 34. So we're probably only making like... Um, zero profit total when it all comes down to it because of the fact that you have to pay fees and, and like the crate costs money and stuff but I hope this sort of makes sense and just it's just a warning not to buy crates at the moment until they fix it and actually make crates just I wouldn't say profitable because they shouldn't just be like oh go in here open a crate make money but they should make it like just a bit better in the way that um, you make money they could add like I don't know, a crate that you could buy and then get all of this stuff instead of just making a crate that costs a thousand coins each because translated into what coins costs, that's 15 euros for one single crate and you can barely even buy it like that. If you buy this crate then, like take a game like Rocket League that has a pretty good, um, pretty good skin system at the moment with their crates. Uh, I really enjoy Rocket League and I really enjoy opening crates because like if you hit a 
if you hit jackpot, you can actually make money off of the items that you uh, that you land on. And I feel like they should you just reduce the gap of what the uh, investment you have to make and what you could potentially earn money on because it's hard to even break even with the crates at the moment. It's just a money thrown out of the window situation right now and I don't really find that all that good. I hope this makes sense and I hope you can somewhat put it to good use. Let me know in the comments what your thoughts are on crates and the situation with crates at the moment. And until next time, have an awesome day boys. Bye.